Hi, this is a short tutorial about the TCP sliding window protocol. Let's start with what a sliding window protocol is. A sliding window protocol is a data structure that is utilized by TCP to ensure that packets arrive in order to the application and uh, it also ensures that there is no congestion created because of two processes talking across the network. So how do they achieve it? Before we see that, let's also see why, uh, how traditionally sequencing of packets or sequencing of communication has been handled. If you consider the telephone systems, communication is sequenced by the hardware, by the physical medium. So let's say you dial up someone, you say hello, how are you from your phone. The other person would receive the words in order, hello first, followed by how and then are and then you. But this is, this is not the case with the data networks because IP promises best effort delivery which means that the packet would arrive at the destination but there is no guarantee about the packet arriving in order and also the packet arriving in the same route. So it can take a different route each time a packet is sent from one node to another node. Now this makes the responsibility of ensuring that the packet would arrive in sequence to TCP. Now what is a sliding window? I will just focus on this diagram. Uh, let us assume that this is the sender section and this being the receiver section. Let's say that the sender has got 10 packets to be sent across the network. Uh, there is a congestion window and a receiver window. For now let's defer the discussion and let's first dive in and understand what the protocol actually does. So let's assume that both the window size, the receiver window and the congestion window are same for now. So the window size is 4. Initially when the sender has to send a packet, it goes ahead and sends the bunch of packets denoted by the window size. So packets 1, 2, 3, 4 are sent across the network. One follow. So these can arrive in any order as we discussed before. So all the four packets are sent. So let's assume that when packets 1, 2, 3, 4 are sent across the network, they, re they reach the receiver. And based on the sequence number that is tagged in the TCP headers, which is a 16-bit field, which de determines what is the sequence number of this current data stream, of this packet in the current data stream. Now, because based on the sequence number, the receiver would now place these packets in its receiver stream. So, because it can identify based on the sequence number, it places packet 1, 2, 3, 4 on its receiver buffer. And now, it would send an acknowledgement to the sender. So what does that acknowledgement contain of? It, it says, okay, I have acknowledged the bunch of data that you have sent me and now I am waiting for the fifth packet. So this uh, acknowledgement is sent back to the sender. Now when the sender receives this acknowledgement from the receiver, what it does is that, assume that there is a window which is, which is here, which indicates the start, uh, the start byte of the sender's unacknowledged packets. Now as soon as the acknowledgement is received and the next sequence in the data stream is requested, the slide, the window would slide and stop here. So this slide will now indicate, okay, the next set of packets that needs to be sent over the network is packet 5 and uh, the size of the window is 4, so 1, 2, 3 and 4. So the window is now slide over the data that has been acknowledged by the receiver and now the remaining packets have to be sent over the network. So now assume that the data is lost in the network due to some reason. Let's say it has lost because of an inherent network error or maybe it got dropped due to some condition or something. So let's, so now Packets 5, 6, 7 and 8 are sent across the network and let's say on, on the receiver side packets 5, 7 and 8 arrive. Packet 6 is dropped. So now what the receiver does is that it will fill up sequence number 5 in here, 7 and 8 but it has lost the packet 6, it hasn't got the packet yet. So now what it would do is, the same strategy, it will acknowledge saying that the last set of data that you sent me has been received and it will also send the next expected packet. 
which is 6. So this information is sent back to the sender. Now the sender which sent 4 packets is confused because it is, the receiver is still waiting on packet 6. So now what it does is that the windows slide one location because it got an acknowledgement for only one packet. So because the windows sliding one location, the packets can now be sent again. So from 6 to 9 can be sent again. Now the receiver can also uh, think about retaining these packets because it knows that only packet 6 is remaining to be filled in or it can do away with 7 in any because they will be resending it again. Occupying this doesn't make any sense. So now that the window is slid, slid by one position, the next window size which is 4 is sent across the network which means 6, 7, 8 and 9. So once this is first set of data has been sent, on the receiver side after sending an acknowledgement the receiver also moves its window. It also slides its window after sending an acknowledgement. So if you see this is a brilliant way, the clever way of handling uh, data in, an, in a network so that they don't face data losses or due to congestion or they don't face any other problems.